another healing herb that is incredible is turmeric. Fortunately, a lot of people have heard about turmeric, so uh, I wanna talk to you about the healing benefits because it has enormous healing potential. And what's interesting is a lot of people don't know how to use it. So let's talk a bit more about turmeric. Turmeric is a natural antibiotic. It purifies the blood, it promotes proper metabolism, um, and it aids in the digestion of protein. It's a tonic for the skin, it works on all tissues of the body, helps to heal the respiratory, circulatory, and digestive system. So you can put it on top of the body, on top of the skin, and you can um, also take it internally. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal herb. But here's the thing about turmeric. If you put it on your skin, it is like the main uh, coloring spice in curries. So everything will turn yellow. So it's wonderful if you mix it in a paste with like a ginger to make a warming paste, it'll heat up your skin. and It'll help pull toxins out of the tissues but then you'll be yellow for a while. <laughs> so that's the problem with using it externally. It is going to stain everything, right? And so that's the challenge with the external thing. If you have a pain somewhere, like say on your leg and no one's going to see that, or you have a spot that you wanna work on, that might work. Or if you mix it in with other herbs, then it, it might not stain, but you have to really think about that when you're using it externally. That said, it is phenomenal as an external aid, absolutely phenomenal. And you can just use it internally as well. It works on and supports the digestive, circulatory, respiratory system, um, and really, really supports all tissues of the body. It acts as a nutritive tonic, it's as an antibacterial, antiseptic agent, um, it's a demulcent, an expectorant, an emollient, a mild astringent. I mean, it is phenomenal. It helps to heal skin disorders, diabetes, arthritis, scrapes and bruises, anemia, poor circulation, congestion, sore throat. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. You can use turmeric in smoothies, in soups, grains, to make yellow rice, stews and meats. You can mix it with uh, ginger to make a warming paste for skin, um, and you can use it in a tea. So there's a couple of ways. When you, when you use turmeric as a tea, you wanna use the actual root itself and boil the root, because if you, you, you can do the powder, but if you do the powder, you're gonna have the grit in the tea, right? So you have the, always have the root with you and as well have the, um, the powder. The powder is great when you can't get the root. But I remember uh, once I was doing a cleanse with my teacher, the one who taught me so much about Ayurveda, um, my, my beautiful teacher, Diana uh, of the Diana Center. And she made some turmeric tea. And when I got down to the bottom, it was just this grit, you know, of the turmeric. And she was like, yes, you got to get all that down too. I'm like, uh, you know, so from that point on, I just boiled the root. <laughs> but it is a very powerful healing herb. So I hope you will be inspired to get more turmeric in your life.